Well, I think you can only tell your own story. So I think you, I, I think the stories need to be told. I think part of part of why I um, enjoy talking about the work that I did is because I, you know, I, it was an incredible experience, and I, you know, I, I like to talk about. I, I went to this rural part of Uganda, which was I like to describe it as materially poor but relationally rich, and so I learned there the importance of community and of valuing people and of moving slowly through life and, and, and that, that people are more important than the tasks or the work that we do. I learned that there, even though I grew up in an African context. I grew up in, you know, in, a, in a pretty modern family. I went to an American missionary school and I didn't really learn those things. I learned that this in a really rural place where things had to move slowly. Um, so I think, I think we want to tell stories, but I think we, we need to be careful to tell our own stories and not um, not try to tell a story that we don't know. Um, but, but at the same time, because I went to a place and interacted with people, I can share the stories that I had, the, the experiences that I had there with those people. So I think that's, but I, but I think we also want to tell stories where we're, we're still remembering that everybody has inherent dignity. And so we want to tell stories that reflect that. Mm -hmm.